Yeah. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today. Today we're gonna draw a jack-o'-lantern. A jack-o'-lantern, perfect. Um, yeah, it's about about time to get some pumpkins and start carving them, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. What are you gonna be for Halloween? A werewolf. A werewolf. Anyway, we're gonna get started. So get your pens and pencils ready, and let's do this. Imagine that. What's big as the biggest volcano in the world? A pencil as big as a volcano? In the world. How would that work? The biggest volcano in the world. <laughs> you couldn't even be on the whole day. It would just be like, hey, I can't pull this out the ground. Holy cow. Okay. Uh, get your pencils ready. Hopefully it's not as big as a volcano, huh? Mm. All right. That couldn't All right. fit on your paper. No, it couldn't. All right, we're going to get started here with our jack-o'-lantern. Light pressure, as always. We're going to do our jack-o'-lantern in the middle of our page. Um, and, you know, this is going to be, I mean, you can do whatever shape you want. Uh, pumpkins come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do kind of a, like a bean shape in a way. So, hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna have my guy kind of like that shape right there, okay? Kind of arcing mm -hmm. back. You could really do whatever shape you want and follow some of the principles that we're gonna go over here while we're drawing. Look at my um, pumpkin. Whoa, man. You're going big. You're breaking all the rules. Yeah. Nice. So that's kind of, a, kind of a bean shape. Bigger at one end, a little bit smaller at the other, like that. Now, it's going to be kind of arced like this right here. So you can, if you want to, you can draw a line through your guy like that, just so you kind of know where your center point is. And then I'm going to do up here is the stock. I'm gonna just kinda go up and I'm gonna do like a curved stock. I don't know if you guys ever seen that, but sometimes you get those pumpkins and they got that curved stock. I'm gonna do that on mine. And then it gets wider at the base where it connects to the pumpkin, like that, right there. And you can kinda, okay. Now, I'm gonna have a big old smiley face on my guy. And it's going to kind of start a little bit above the bend here. And I'm going to go all the way over here. Now, because of the shape of my pumpkin, we're going to have that end a little higher over here. I'm going to have it go around like that. A big old half circle, just like that. And then we're going to connect this side to this side with another big old rounded, almost half circle. Coming around like this, bottom, and then going back up there towards the top. So that I kind of know is my mouth of my jack-o'-lantern. Oh man, you're already throwing teeth on yours? Ooh, nice. I did fangs. And the eyes, I'm gonna have going up here. I'm gonna draw myself a little guide so that they look like they're on the same plane. I'm gonna have it kind of slight curve over the other side there and I'm going to connect I'm going to do triangles for eyes I'm going to start up here I'm going to bring it down just like that and then I'm going to do the same thing over here okay and I'm going to give my jack lantern a couple teeth I'm going to do the square teeth like this, one on each side, and then I'm going to do one in the middle, why not, on the bottom here, what do you think? Okay, now that I know um, where things are at. I'm going to go ahead and start using a little firmer pressure, giving myself some darker lines and uh, giving myself some details uh, that I can ink here in the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the stock. Now I'm going to actually throw like my stock got broken 
So I'm going to throw some points on there like that and just kind of do whatever you want there. You can go small, big, like that. Yeah, it got broken. And then I'm going to come down, follow my lines, and I'm going to kind of throw some jagged lines in there to connect back to my pumpkin like so. This guy has two stunts. Your pumpkin has two stalks? I've never seen that before. Okay, now if you look at the stalk of your pumpkin, it kind of has some ridges. So we're going to start at the bottom and kind of follow the general path here like that. And I like to do kind of varied lines for that. Give it a little character. So we're going to do that there. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but pumpkins kind of have ridges running lengthwise on them. So we're definitely going to have one ridge in the middle, and I know I'm going to have another ridge kind of going down right there. I'll probably do another one on the side there. We'll do one over here, one over there. And I'm going to have my pumpkin kind of bow out and then go back into those ridges. So we're going to go like that and go down back to that ridge. Then we're going to do the same thing back here. I don't know if you can see how I'm doing that, but you know, and I like to do hard straight lines when I'm doing my drawings like this. That's that's a style thing. You could do rounded without these flat lines in there. That's uh that's up to you. So I'm going to do that up here, up, and then go down, up. I'm going to do puss down. and send that to my pumpkin. Are ya? Now right here where his, his smile meets his cheek, I'm going to throw a little bump out. You can do that. There's, uh, you know, there's no rules here. Do the same thing over here. That's his cheek. And then this is the crease where his smile meets his cheek right there. We're gonna do that on the other side too. What do you got going on over there, buddy? Of course, the net's doing. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna follow my lines here. I'm gonna throw in some little uh, jagged edges on my pumpkin. Maybe it's a little older, he's been out for a while. You know, they start to kind of shrivel and get weird after they sit outside this guy looks like he just got in no oh, really doesn't he yeah I, I think so now you know pumpkins are kind of thick the walls of the pumpkin so the way that we're looking at our pumpkin here we're gonna have to throw uh, some thickness into these teeth and in, in the mouth so it looks like um, you know, gives it some depth. So I'm going to start in a little bit from here and I'm going to come down and then I'm going to connect back to my tooth like that. Now we're going to follow this line down. I'm going to give myself a little cut out there. Some, I don't know what to call those. Some little jagged edges. Boy, those things are too close together. They're too close together? Well, hey, we're working in pencil, so you can always erase. You can always erase if you don't like the way something's going. Um, I, I have to do it all the time. So, same thing here. So, we're kind of, I don't know, you know, you're looking at this pumpkin. And you're definitely going to be able to see that inside edge. So we're going to go ahead and throw that in there. It's going to connect like that. Now, by the time we've gotten around to here, this side is not going to be as easy to see. So we're going to taper it off into the line of the mouth there. Because <clears throat> our pumpkin, you know, it's round right so in the way that we're looking at it 
You're going to mainly be able to see this edge, not as much this edge. Same with this tooth versus this tooth. That tooth's more straight on, or by the time you round around on this other tooth, you're going to be able to see that. A pumpkin with horns. <laughs> you're doing horns too, man. Horns you have great the... ideas. You have great horns ideas. popping out of the pumpkin. Oh, man. One of these days, I hope I can get that creative and too straightforward. Um, okay, let's do these eyes. So I'm gonna follow my triangles, throw a couple little uh, little ridges in there, like that. And do the same thing over here. Connect down. Boom. Now we're definitely gonna be able to see this inside edge. So we're gonna throw that in there. Maybe a little bit here and here. Now I'm gonna follow these vertical ridges down. And we're gonna well, finish can those off. Trying to solve his horns. He has chunks out of his horns, yeah. He's one big one, one tiny. Sitting in the pumpkin patch too long. Medium, one week. <laughs> okay, and then the tops and bottoms. There's there's a lot of vertical lines. These are like the main ones. So I'm gonna throw in just some little shorter ones down towards the top and bottom, like that. Just for that added detail. I'm gonna do some where my these little ridges are. I'm do, gonna do Just little lines. That's all. Little lines. I'm gonna do that there. Okay. He's wearing shoes. Really? So your guy has legs too? Yeah. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about this. What do you think? How's yours coming along? Yeah. Pretty good. Yours is amazing. Yours is killing mine. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Okay. So now that we have our pencil done here, we are going to start inking this. Are you ready for ink? No. <laughs> you're not. You're still adding stuff. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Pumpkin. <laughs> The big and jack he's, and he's about to throw it. Oh man. Into the guy, yeah. the guy's face. He's like, ah! I wouldn't want to run into your jack o' lantern on, on the pumpkin in the pumpkin patch. He goes into the corn maze sometimes <laughs> to eat corn. Oh wow. And sometimes he even bites down the whole corn maze. Really? He's just kind of a wily bandit in the in the uh, pumpkin patch, isn't he? Well, hey, get your uh, bold marker. I'm gonna get my bold marker out. We're gonna do the outline of our drawing here with bold marker. Um, we'll speed it up when we do that. If we ever get ahead of you, just pause the video. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Now that I'm done with my bold marker here, I am going to get a finer tip marker. And I'm gonna go through and do the details like these ridges, a lot of these uh, little detail lines that we did, the inside ridge of his mouth, his eyes, all that. So go ahead and get your fine tip marker out and let's go ahead and go through and do it. you threw hair on your guy. Man, this gets better and better. <laughs> Go ahead and get your fine tip marker and let's let's do this.
see. <laughs> Here, I'm the cowboy of the dance. Okay. Now, we're done inking the details within. And sometimes when you're doing that, you know, with all your pencil lines that you've used to get here, um, starting to get almost a little bit hard to see uh, some of the things. So at this point, I like to get my eraser out and clean this drawing up a bit before I go back through and continue adding any additional um, fine details that I want to add. So um, we're going to go ahead and erase uh, all the pencil lines that got us to this point. And um, so yeah, get your, your, your eraser out and yeah, hey, when you're doing that, one of the things, here's a little tip, when you're erasing, make sure you put your other hand down firmly around where you're erasing so that you don't, because if you don't, if you have your hand down here and you go to erase, you're going to crinkle up your paper real bad. So remember that, um, guys, when you're at home doing this, put your other hand down by where you're erasing so you keep your, your paper from getting wrinkled up and ruining your drawing. So go ahead and get your eraser out and we're going to do that. Now that we've erased, we can see our drawing uh, more clearly. Uh, at this point, I like to take a fine tip and clean it up a, a bit if some of your lines um, uh, maybe aren't as clean as you'd like them to be. I made a mustache. <laughs> oh man, your guy, so what is he? He's like pretty much just the cowboy of the pumpkin patch? Yeah. Oh boy. Slash. Slash bad, slash monster. Slash pumpkin patch monster. What pumpkin patch is that? Because I don't want to go. So. <clears throat> I'm going to add some hatch marks uh, where there might be shadows on my pumpkin. Um, I'm going to assume the light is coming from up top. So I'm going to do some hatch marks right up here in the crease of his smile gradually getting further apart and I'm going to do maybe some of that um, in, these little crease, in these little cracks um, I'm going to do that up here towards the top of this eye okay so I'm going to go through my drawing and I'm going to keep doing that you guys can follow along we're going to speed it up a notch while we do that Yours is great. I love it. I love it. It's perfect. I'm going to throw some lines underneath them here. Just as a shadow on the ground. So, just like so. That's all you got to do. Just coming out just a little ways. And there you go. I'm done. Look, a rolling ball. Perfect. Don't forget to sign your drawing when you're done. Uh, with your date. It's always fun to look back on your drawings and see how you've progressed over time. Okay, are you ready to color this thing? You sure. Okay. Show me your drawing, buddy. Awesome. Looks great. I think you did a good job. And I had fun doing it, did you? Alright, perfect. 
Well, we're gonna color our drawings now. We're gonna speed it up while we do that. Um, we'd love to see how you guys color your drawing um, and any added details that you might've done. If you did a scene, that would be really cool to see. Share it with us on Instagram, tag Wild Style Kids, hashtag Wild Style Kids so that we can share it with our friends on there. And uh, that's gonna do it for us today. We're gonna look forward to the next one. Are you, are you excited? All right, let's, I messed that all up, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.